Hi, I'm Andrew Gans with Motor Authority, and I'm out here at Fort Carson, Colorado to tell you guys about the Chevy Colorado ZH2. This truck started life as a regular Chevy Colorado ZR2, the most off-road capable Colorado in Chevy's lineup, except this one's quite a bit different. Under its hood is a fuel cell powertrain. This is a GM Generation Zero, as they call it. It's basically the fuel cell tech that was in the Chevy Equinox fuel cell uh, test vehicles that they've run for the last couple of years. Except here, it's in a much beefier off-road truck designed for military use. Suspension lift, you've got 12 inches of ground clearance, 48 degree approach angle, 36 degree departure angle. It's a really serious off-road vehicle. Fuel cell vehicles are largely silent. That's a major advantage for a military use like this. The only sound you're hearing is the air compressor, and that at sea level would be essentially quiet. But up here to about 7,000 feet, where we've got a much thinner air, you've got to push more air into the powertrain, so you've got to have that compressor running a little harder. One of the major advantages to the fuel cell technology is the ability to have an integrated portable power unit in the rear of the vehicle. In this, they've put it in the back here. This obviously is not a regular bed, but pop it open, it's a trunk, and back here you've got a power unit that basically takes the place of a diesel generator. So this can power communications, this can power pretty much whatever the soldiers are going to need out there in the field for a short period of time. The military told us that one of the best advantages in their eyes to a fuel cell powertrain is the lack of an internal combustion engine. This means that the vehicle runs very, very cold. So the only heat that you might see is from the tires. And the military told us that it, when it was conducting exercises here at Fort Carson on that ridge up there, the only thing they could see at night was the tires. Another advantage to a fuel cell vehicle is that the only thing that comes out of its tailpipe is water. Now the water on this test vehicle is not drinkable, but the Army could re-ionize it and it could be drinkable water. It produces about two gallons an hour, which if you're in the middle of nowhere in the desert, that could be a lifeline for you. This Colorado ZH2 is a one of one. This is the only one. It's a military test vehicle. Despite its show car looks, it's actually a really capable off-roader. We just went for a ride along and really learned that Although it starts as a regular ZR2, there's some major improvements. 37-inch BFG mud terrain tires, a little more suspension. Uh, you've got these tough rock rails here to protect you over bumps. Doesn't quite ride like a Raptor, for instance, but for what it is, amazingly capable. From Fort Carson, Colorado, I'm Andrew Gans for Motor Authority. Don't forget to check us out on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram.